what is going on? I am Anon Moose. Welcome back to the channel. Let's have a look, see what Miss Gearheart has in store for us, see what is on the menu. Holy Seamos are clearly on sale. There are at least 10, 15 Seamos there, so that is going to be difficult. Seamos shoot very, very quickly, and as a result, those would just absolutely demolish low-level troops. So um, rifle and Zuka to the right-hand side might be your best idea. Need to get rid of a couple lasers to do that, though. This is going to be fairly difficult for low levels. I'm not even sure what we're going to do, to be completely honest. That shock launcher is going to be a bit painful. If we go over to the left-hand side, lots and lots of rockets going to be difficult for low levels as well. So I don't actually know what the best answer is here at the moment. So we're just going to try it out. What I'm going to try to do is get rid of all... You know what? I could probably clear all those rockets, but I don't know if the normal average everyday player could clear all those rockets. So a little bit of a conundrum for sure. What... Do we do, and then all of these um, flamethrowers are going to cause some shocks to be had. It is a difficult, difficult task today for certain. So, you know what, let's just give it a shot. We're going to throw some rifles out front. At least, I'd say, probably two boats of rifles. Those Seamos are going to be picking off troops left, right, and center. So, let's get some rifles out front. We'll get Miss Everspark in behind with the Critter swarm you could also use uh, second wind might be another option second wind i believe gets more expensive more quickly than uh, critter swarm but don't quote me on that one because i almost never use kavan so nonetheless let's just get into it see what we can do by just heading straight over to that right hand side we're going to barrage some mines which is going to get our troops nice and close and cozy with all of the things and then this is going to be... Oh, I just missed that shock mine. Speaking of bad, bad things, we're going to go like uh, rifle, rifle, zookas, and then we're just going to shock all of the flamethrowers and hope that our rifles get out front enough that they don't get completely and utterly wrecked by the Seamos because there's just so many Seamos there. And as you can see, they're just getting picked off left, right, and center. And our Zookas and rifles just can't get into these flamethrowers enough. So as soon as this shock's about to expire, we are going to retreat, throw a smoke there, and that's what we're going to do for attack number one. I don't know if we'll be able to get to the core, but we're going to give it a shot. Save some troops. Run the heck away. Now, I should have been using some extra GBE on this laser in behind the core right about there because it's going to be hugely problematic. But we got to get rid of these flamethrowers before we start thinking about that. So... At this point, at least we can drop our troops nice and calm and casually. So we're going to drop actually our rifles over on this side and our Zookas on this side because Zookas do outrange flamethrowers for the most part. But obviously it's only for the most part. They do like to bunch up, especially when they're in corners. So that's going to have to be a definite, definite concern. Getting all of our... I mean, we're definitely doing a little bit better. Once you get rid of those flamethrowers, things start to open up a little bit. Obviously, that flamethrower did not go down when we were hoping to. But at this point, we're moving forward. We've lost basically all of our riflemen, or they're all on that left-hand side, not protecting our Zookas at all. So do we just keep pushing forward and losing troops? I don't know the actual answer to this question at the moment, but as you can see there, that left-hand side laser has already been activated. So I'm going to pull out over to here because otherwise we're just going to lose all of our troops and we don't want to do that quite yet. Might as well save a few troops, get a little bit extra GBE and throw some barrages onto that back back laser before we retreat. So picking up some free GBE. It's uh, There's not a lot over here though, unfortunately. So we're just going to get one more artillery and then we're going to retreat. And that should at least get that laser started. We're, we've got about a third a, a, tw a fifth of its health down and we're moving towards the core so for those of you who like to do high skilled attacks this one does not appear to be in that neighborhood now here's the problem if we start pushing forward right now we're going to lose all of our troops to that laser so we have to either gbe it or we have to keep it shocked. And so obviously GBEing it is just delaying the problem. So we're going to we're going to throw all of our gunboat energy 
I think I just said the wrong thing. Um, shocking it is only delaying the problem, so we definitely need to just throw all of our GBE back there and hope we can get it down. It's only 30,000 health, and when I say only, that's quite a bit of health for a low level. So we managed to get it down at this point, but what we need to do now is get all of our troops over in amongst all of those CMOs, get our riflemen out front, get some critters also protecting. I definitely dropped way too far left, that's why I flared that CMO. Don't recommend bringing your troops in this close until you absolutely have to. So we're going to lose way more riflemen than we need to. But I think we're basically set up for the core hit at this point. Just need to keep pushing forward. Now, this attack is not super duper great, but more importantly, we got rid of all of those that the laser that was going to be a problem. And now we can just push forward and do as much damage as we can. Now, obviously, all of the retreats that I did might end up costing me. The reason why I retreat all of those times is because I'm trying my best to make it so that people who don't have instant training or don't want to spend diamonds can copy. Obviously, you can just wait 40 minutes or whatever it is, but for me recording this video, that is clearly and utterly not an option. So we're going to spend the diamonds. Speaking of spending diamonds, if you're buying diamonds or if you're buying instant training or extra builder or you just want to send me a warm fuzzy, do consider throwing Zedmot into your creator boost spelled just like that, Z-M-O-T. Speaking of new stuff, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but obviously new thumbnail today, trying to keep things fresh. Don't let me know what you think about it. Um, I am not all that terribly good at thumbnails. I spend a lot of time on them, but I'm not terribly good at making them. So it's this weird balance. And um, so if you have any suggestions or you have any art skills or um, anything for that matter, do let me know because I don't do terribly good. I and mean, it, it takes me like hours to make a single thumbnail, which is f sort of pathetic. But at the same time, it is what it is. I am not a, I'm not a creative person. I'm not a maker person. Um, I oh man, laser on that those, those lasers on the on the back left coming into play. Did not think that was going to be the case. So now we need to come back over into here, and we're going to try our best to get rid of those last two CMOS, which is probably going to be a problem because that laser is going to start zapping things in a second. Now, one thing you can do is because CMOS see underneath smoke, you can actually throw a smoke in front of them, keep your critters underneath the smoke, and what that's going to do is make it so the laser does not see the critters. Now, obviously, Eversparks dead, so this is not actually doing anything. But you get the idea. CMOS will still target critters underneath smoke, but they have to actually have critters. So at this point, maybe, just maybe, we're in good shape. One other thing that we can do is you notice in that last attack, that um, shock launcher behind the core was causing us nothing but problems. And the great thing about all of the CMOS being gone is that we can now get rid of that shock launcher behind the core. So... Getting fairly low on diamonds. We've only got one attack left. I'm going to load all Zookas for this attack. Not sure if that's going to pay off or not. And we're going to bring Miss Everspark in and try and do this in two stages. Not sure if this is going to work or not. We're also 13 diamonds short. Let's have a look here. So if we come in here, we can hack that laser back there and then bring all of the ladies in on this right hand side. It's, it's going to be super tight. There's not much of a window there, but I think we can make a nice little kill zone right about here. We'll find out in just a second. I'm going to go like this. We're going to pause. I'll be back in just a moment when we've got enough diamonds to load some troops. I realize I missed an incredibly simple segue. This is Infant 9. We have no spots available at the moment, but do consider checking out our description. There's a new task force going to be added to that description. Brand spanking new, different oriented. And speaking of task force, 21 diamonds for free from a low level operation. So hugely beneficial do make sure you're in the task force and there is going to be a new one it's called zen 9 different strategy different approach which is going to be interesting for sure it's not about solos it's about setups it's about low levels learning to read bases why do i have a france number phoning me 
Okay, that was a spam call, so we'll just leave that phone number in there. Feel free to call them and tell them to stop spamming me. Actually, don't, because they just steal phone numbers. Anyways, let's keep going. They don't actually steal. They spoof. It's a long story. Nonetheless, we are going to go get that shock launcher, then bring our troops in and make some magic. So let's go something like this. I can't even remember what I was talking about a second ago, but I think we can walk right to there. Just need Everspark to not die to lasers because you know she wants... Oh, look at that. Her critters went left. That is fantastic. We're going to click the button right now. She doesn't actually do anything until she gets to the end of her first flare, so don't need to worry about that. We're going to throw one more smoke because I don't know if she's going to become unshocked by the time. No, she wouldn't have, so that would have been bad, bad danger. Now, um, let's just get rid of that shock launcher. Now, we are going to let Everspark die because we don't want her around. Now, we need to get all of our Zookas moving. Make sure... Uh-oh, is there going to be enough damage there? I think there is. It's going to be very, very close. Make sure you throw an extra flare. Otherwise, what happens is your troops start walking towards that shock launcher because there's still an active flare. And then bad, bad things do happen. So at this point, we're going to try to clear a couple of the sniper towers, keeping all of our GBE active. Now, I probably should be shocking. Let's throw a smoke out front. I'm a little bit nervous that some of our Zookas are going to get a tad too close to that core which is going to make machine guns wreck them. Also, those back lasers would have ruined our day if we let them. Now, hopefully... Oh, speaking of machine guns, there we go. So we've got this nice little spot. I don't know how many snipers are... Only one of them is, are on us at the moment, just picking away our troops. It's going to be a war of attrition, and it looks like that sniper's reaching fairly deep into our Zookas. So... I think we've got this down, but it's going to be close. Now, speaking of Zen 9, so a standard Zooka hit would just come try to solo this by hitting the core. A setup, a setup attack knows that they can't finish and sets it up so the second person behind them can do some fantastic damage, save some GBE, all sorts of stuff like that. So... Setup attacks are incredibly important, but with operations, people tend to skip straight to solo. So Zen 9 is going to be a more relaxed place where operations still happen, but they're happening in a little bit different manner. Two absolute beast players heading it up. Um, we've got the hot chick and the soup in there. At the very least, I believe Yalik and a couple other players are still in there. So manage to take down the War Factory on this account. I'll show you that this is an HQ-17 with a bit of an asterisk there. Asterisk? Asterisks? Um, nonetheless, manage to take this down. I didn't know that it was possible just with a sheer brute force low levels going right. So do consider heading off to that right. Those, those flamethrowers on the right are a bit of a problem for sure. When combined with Simos on their own, they wouldn't have been a big deal. War Factory down in five attacks with a bunch of diamonds and a bunch of troops lost. Everspark was helpful, but not. She's also a bit of a problem because of those lasers behind the core. Nonetheless, down that goes. Let's show you the stats just so you have an idea of what the statues are like. So 59% troop damage, 33% troop health, and 38% GBE. And you think 38% GBE, that's a pretty good statue. But nope, it's this 22%. So my two primary statues, not super awesome. As you can see back here, HQ 17, quick glimpse into the armory shows that my artillery and barrage are both maxed, which is critical. Anyways, we're going to pause cover Come back with another account, try something different, do stick around, back in a second. Okay, so this one, I'm very, very tempted just to try all Scorchers, to be honest. This is going to cost a lot of gold, but I didn't see anything at first glance that would cause problems for All Scorchers. And All Scorchers is the meta du jour. It speaks a tiny bit of terrible French based on that French spam call. Because um, Scorchers... Uh oh this account does not have maxed boats. That is a travesty. I have resource reward on this account even, I think. Yes, I do. And still don't have maxed boats. So I need to get on that terribly quickly. Um, we're going to use Shock Knuckles. Bullet with uh, Scorchers doesn't work terribly well. But with Shock Knuckles, maybe we can do some magic. So 
Let's have a look here. I mean, we can go around the left, get all of that stuff, no problem. Uh, we're going to go like this. We're going to hit the shock knuckles, and then we're just going to drop all of our scorchers onto here. Flare over there. Maybe throw a smoke just to make sure that doom cannon doesn't... Oh, see that? It did see us. It did see us. Now we need... We can't do anything because we don't have enough gunboat energy. So now we just need to get the heck away from all of that stuff and clear some rocket launchers. Max level accounts can do all sorts of ridiculous stuff. If you haven't seen Max 16 Scorchers attack Cooker yet, it is ridiculous. Like, absolutely ridiculous. People are just clearing absolutely everything, almost doing save the core as a result. And now we can just head back back here let's get one quick smoke to get away from that doom cannon and if you're wondering why the heck i'm using shock knuckles it's because bullet likes to hang out behind the scorcher so what i'm gonna do here is just get him moving maybe get a bit of a shock and get some stuff and we can just clear all of this right hand stuff definitely need to save ourselves some gunboat energy though because otherwise as soon as we get rid of all of those shield gens we've got boom cannons we've got shock launchers and we've got a whole lot of CMOS and cannons and things so at this point we're just gonna clear all of this stuff like absolutely everything shock knuckles doing a little bit of magic again shock knuckles not my favorite ability whatsoever as you can tell by the fact that I haven't upgraded it but I mean, look at this. We've got all of the shield gens cleared. We've got a nice path up the left-hand side. Let's get rid of some of these mines and maybe even throw a barrage back there on that um, shock launcher. I mean, look how much health our barrages do to that shock launcher. So that shock launcher does not have a ton of health at the moment, but... Um, our max level barrage and artillery just makes everything so, so much easier. I'm going to retreat, you know. Let's shock this stuff, and that way we can run, run away. We've lost a couple Scorchers, but not all that many. And we managed to clear that entire left-hand side. Going for the solo, very, very unlikely to be possible. But just wanted to show a different way to do things. And at this point, can we send in some bombardiers and finish that off from out of range of the CMOS? It's possible. Let's give that a shot. Just want to try something different out. And then later on, maybe we'll try to do an all Zooka solo just to see how badly it can go. Very, very curious. Wasting all sorts of gold. But is it wasting if you're having fun? I don't think so. Um, we're going to use Brick because Brick is going to die. And Brick is going to die a horrible, horrible death. Now, you'll notice that um, for the back here, Bombardiers are actually cheaper than two Scorchers. Two Scorchers, I believe, the most expensive troops. Someone commented on that a while back. And thank you to them for doing that because I had not thought of that Probably should have done should have done a max level mech. Oh snap! Classified items do exist. There is proof right there. We've got the blueprint. We've got the gold safe. Good things are happening. Pretty stoked on that, actually. Let's see. Where is my armory? Do I have an armory? I do have an armory. Where the heck is it, though? I, there we go. Right there. Never can see things when they're right in front of my face. Let's get a big upgrade going. Let's get those Scorchers upgraded. That is a perfect, perfect opportunity. Using that gold safe. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's get those Scorchers upgraded. Now let's get in here and see if we can't finish this. Not going to use Brick or Bullet because no... Actually, it might have been useful. Nonetheless, let's go like this. We're going to go over to that left-hand side. See if we can't smoke all of our Bombardiers into position. Because otherwise, those lasers are going to be a bit of a problem. Um, let me know how you guys took this down. I feel like all Scorchers was probably worth continuing on just because we cleared so much stuff like it was incredible look how much we cleared all of that in one attack and would have cleared those boom cannons had i had not retreated so retreating not the best answer there it rarely is but uh figured i i got pressured i start i lost my cool and we just retreated and it was a mistake for certain let's get rid of this right in here because otherwise, our troops are going to get a little bit wrecked by that one boom cannon there. And now we're going to go something like this. Bombardiers like to spread out way more than they should. So we're going to throw a couple extra smokes. And I think at this point, we can go something like this and throw a shock there and a shock there. And just get all... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 
get all of our dudes going, get all of them just chucking some bombs, and then maybe just something like this. More battle orders, more clearing, and then they should be able to just to find a little sweet spot back in here. Not sure if that's going to happen or not. Brick is most definitely going to die. And now... I mean, we're in a nice little hidey hole here. Probably should back flare and save some bombardiers, but you know what? Let's just let them keep walking forwards as we blow up the core. So, did we lose any troops? I don't think we did. So, bombardiers and scorchers, that was pretty darn clean, I have to say. So, not necessarily the best option, but definitely an option we're gonna switch it up bring back one more account because i'm very curious to see if we can solo this using zookas it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be tough but it might just be possible so let's pause one time stick around i'll show you something that's probably gonna be ridiculous So my account that does not have resource reward and has not had it forever has max level boats. Just go figure it. All she goes to show depends on when and how you use your account. Some reason my computer is not liking things, so we're going to pause just for there we go. Now let's have a look at Gear Factory, Gear Heart, War Factory. I really don't know how this is going to go. We're going to mark this rocket launcher. We're going to come into this. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Um, this, I don't have high hopes for this. I feel like this is going to be an utter and absolute failure, but what's the point in... Might as well try, right? So we're going to go like that. We're going to go like this. Um, trying our best to keep the delay, also to get all of our troops underneath. Don't we just lost the delay? So well, delay is lost, but it looks like that... Nope. Where... Oh, bullet, you... Yeah. Okay, so that could explain why we've lost the delay. We're going to flare into there. We're going to shock into there. And I think we can clear all of these rockets with bullet. Uh-oh, they're not hitting the one. Oh, that's why. There we go. So now that that's done, we need to hit our taunt button again. Clearing all of these rockets fairly easily just because bullet... Um, Using three taunts, probably too many, but I find with taunts, I am terrible at timing the count. I end up absolutely and utterly screwing it up, so we're going to farm some GBE here. I'm going to clear a bunch of mines over in there, and then we're going to come ugh, using more smoke than I would like to. But I think it is, in fact, required. Otherwise, we're going to get wrecked by mortars and stuff, so... Okay, now one more taunt. I don't think I'm going to have enough gunboat energy to finish this thing off, but we're going to give it the old college try. My critters were a little bit late, which is not good. Bullet did not get nearly enough separation, which is also not super duper good. But I think we're now clearing all of these mortars. I mean, not mortars, shield gens, and that is job number one. Let's get moving. Oh, I don't think we're going to have enough GBE to even get close to being able to get back there, but it's worth a shot. Zuka's trying to be as effective as... Uh-oh, we're going to get absolutely destroyed as soon as that smoke clears, but maybe, just maybe, by some fluke, we can take out that shock launcher. I don't think it's going to happen because that smoke's going to clear before our Zookas get... Yeah, see, right there. Not good at all. The solo attempt was a complete and utter bust, but maybe we can finish it off in two hits. Yeesh. Why did it say 112 Zookas? Did two live? That doesn't make any sense to me. Let's have a look here. 112. Oh, must have forgotten to load something. Or no, my math. Duh, sorry, math. Base defended. Woot, woot. Sorry, I just wanted to check to see if that was an intentional defense or not. Some, it, you get people donating diamonds and intel. It's fantastic. Okay, finishing off with Zookas before we run out of steam. We are running out of steam fairly quickly here. It is not coffee time. For those of you who are long-time channel goers, you know this all happens before coffee for me. I went from being in the best possible time zone 
for the War Factory to being in the second worst. And as a result, these War Factory hits are not my best hits because they are pre-coffee on a Thursday morning and nothing good happens pre-coffee. There, like, li Literally nothing good in the world happens before coffee. Now, obviously, some of you have said you don't drink coffee. I am in completely and utterly envious. I didn't used to drink coffee, but I also didn't used to have three kids. Yes, those of you who think that I am a 12-year-old child, I just sound like a 12-year-old child. I am actually old enough to have three kids, which explains why my average subscriber, my average subscriber is like in their 30s at this point, which is kind of cool in this day and age where everything seems to be getting younger and younger. I've still got some pretty darn cool subscribers, and they're not super duper young, which is, I, I, I don't know why I find that to be cool, but I do. So now Zuka's hitting the core. Clearly, I missed some sort of mine. But down it goes. War Factory into using Zookas. So if you use armor, if you use squishy troops, whatever it may be, there are lots and lots of ways to do this War Factory. Probably could have just used Bombardiers, but let's just... Those were pretty decent attacks, I gotta say. Not bad for pre-coffee. Nonetheless, do consider subscribing, liking, sharing. If you're looking for a task force, like I said, have a look for Zen 9. That is our latest and greatest, 18 of 25. They are considering going up to 50 as well, which is very unusual for the Triangle 9 family of attacks. I'll notice there are a bunch of strong, strong players in there with some good intel numbers. So do consider dropping some chicks in there. Dropping some chicks. Hot chick just read that. Thick and hot Zedmod is in there. Nonetheless, I'm Zedmod. As always, thanks for coming in. Let me know what you think about the new thumbnail. I shall talk to you soon. Peace!